in your DIY duct tape jewelry kit, you will actually find enough material to do three projects. So one project will include a pair of earrings, clip-on earrings, and that's what the little string is for. Also, we'll make another one hang in from a safety pin, and we'll use that safety pin with our other projects too. And then also a key ring. So there's a lot that we can do with this duct tape, and I pulled out a couple different designs here. On the worksheet that was included, you'll see some designs. These designs are symmetric. Symmetry is when something can be broken or divided into equal pieces. My goggles here, these are symmetric because they're the same on both sides. Now my scissors, these are not equal on both sides. This is asymmetric. Today we'll be working with symmetric designs and this is a math concept. Uh, you often see it in geometry but also in art and design as well. And today we will make a fun gift. So the first thing I'll do for my earrings, because I want two earrings, I'm going to cut my piece in half. Now I will remove the backing of the duct tape. You can use duct tape from home that's in a roll that doesn't have a backing. So I folded it over. If you don't do a perfect job, it's going to be a little bubbly, but that's okay because you can cut off the ends too. We have two pieces and now we'll experiment with a symmetric design. So I'm folding it in half again. And what I will do is just draw one side of my symmetric design. When I cut it out, it'll be on both sides. I have a Christmas tree, only by cutting out one side. It is symmetric, so it's the same on both sides. Alright, so now I have two Christmas trees. I'm going to use the safety pin, and if you need, get an adult to help you if you're worried about poking yourself. But we're going to make a hole right in the top of the Christmas tree. And we're gonna wiggle it around a little bit. So now what I'll do is I will insert this metal hoop through the front hole. And there we go. Now, it's not gonna stay on. Uh, and that is why we have the string. I'll cut the string in half. And now I can just tie the design on to this up on earring. There's the first earring. Using a small piece just with a different design, I'm going to do another symmetric design. So first what I will do is remove the backing. I only need one small piece for this and I will fold over in half. There we go, now the design is on both sides. I'll fold it in half one more time. I'll go up a little bit, around the corner, turn that side, and then cut straight over to a point. Can you guess what I made? Oh, nice. Slip the duct tape in, and then I'm going to force feed that guy through the hole we made. And now I'm just going to keep sliding it around. And look at that. Pretty cool keychain. 